Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. I am actually equipping this mod straight from the bat instead of the usual way we do these modded weapon guides. Uh, we're going to be doing it slightly different this time uh, and I'll explain why in a minute. But uh, yeah, we are back with a new weapon to review and this one is called the DNA Writer, also known as the Genetic Rewriter as well and it's made by Dave. Uh, now the reason we're doing this slightly different is because this is a mod that Dave has done just to showcase cool firing patterns which I'm going to demonstrate right now. We will carry on doing some killing and stuff like that with it but uh, yeah this is an overhaul of the Varouk um, and uh, this is exactly what it looks like. It's uh, not made to be anything totally special in the looks department or like that. It's purely been made uh, which is pretty cool as well uh, just to show these new firing patterns that we've just not seen before. So Dave has um, obviously semi-retired well, it says he's retired, but uh, he came back with the Hawk Launcher, um, that awesome weapon that shoots uh, Saturn's drones. And uh, he had another idea, and that's to make weird firing patterns, which I'm going to show now. So aiming down the sights is uh, a nice donut shaped spinning pink projectiles, as you can see. Very cool. No other gun has it like that. Quite quick as well, as you can see. I can't actually catch it when I shoot it. Uh, and then there is actually uh, fire, firing down the hip uh, does these swirly patterns uh, right here, which are much slower uh, and not as complete. But as you can see, when you completely fire it, it will spin. And uh, I think I believe Dave's described this as uh, swirly spaghetti patterns, um, which are much slower. And you can obviously run past and into it. Um, but yeah, very cool ideas in general, just for the visual side of this. But uh, this weapon is quite usable, believe it or not. Uh, I've actually, you'll see later on, I'll test this out and uh, actually uh, do do quite a lot of kills with it as well. Uh, now, for the hip firing pattern, you can do all sorts of different things. Um, now, the projectiles don't last too long if you fire too much. But uh, you can see that weird swirl I've just made there. You can go left and right and make it like that. You can go up and down. You can just do all sorts of weird ones in general. Look at that, it's just cool to actually sit there and just have a look at what you can actually make from this. Um, that was nearly well, like a uh, three arc swirl I did there and I just firing it. But uh, yeah, the actual projectile in general is pretty cool. Uh, donuts or spaghetti, whichever one you want. Um, quite damaging when it wants to be. But uh, as always with these modded weapon guides, I'll quickly show you how to get this. Uh, now I'll do this very quickly because you should all know Dave's section by now. So click on Borderlands 2 Mods, head down to Dave's folder which is quite near the top in uh, uh, alphabetical order. Click on Dave and then head down to the uh, DNA Writer it's called on here. Um, and like I said it's also, it's proper name is the Genetic Rewriter. That'll bring up the information page, load of code. Click on the raw tab, right click, save as, save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder and uh, then execute it in the game which I already did right at the beginning you will see so we're going to take this to Frostburn Canyon and give it a little bit of testing out uh, this thing's pretty f pretty powerful actually with uh, aiming down the sights um, it's much more precise and fast paced um, that's where you're going to get most of your kills if enemies come too close to you or you just want to go in and smash them um, get, I definitely recommend using the hip fire mode going in and just absolutely launching the hell out of them with this uh, just launch as many projectiles into them as possible uh, and it does do quite well uh, now you can see very early on at the start bottom right of the uh, screen this thing will regen ammo very quickly you'll never need to uh, fill your ammo up you'll um, it'll regen quicker than you can actually use it um, which is very handy if you are going in for close range hip fire madness uh, but yeah um, this thing's quite hard to get critical hits with though as you can imagine um, I'm not quite sure where the best way to do it if obviously if you're very close to an enemy uh, you can just fire it into them and hope for a critical but precise critical hits when aiming down the sights I'm not sure if you've got to uh, actually get the invisible center of the donut or whether you can just hit the edge of the donut where the projectiles are um, I'm not entirely sure but you don't need it in general you can just keep firing this thing out so let's go through the list of changes and uh, Dave's explanation so this is the genetic rewriter of Varuk overhaul by Dave uh, he likes to state again he's not back to modding um, he's just had yet another stupid idea and did it to prove to himself that he could do it so the gun info the genetic rewriter replaces the Varuk no other guns than the Varuk will be broken by this mod this is very much a one-off 
The reason he's made this is to showcase cool firing patterns. The gun itself can be used in combat, but it's probably a pain in the ass for anyone that isn't him. Uh, I disagree with that in a way. I actually you found this quite usable actually once you got used to it. Um, so it is a pretty cool weapon, uh, not just visually, but also to use as a uh, an actual killing machine. Um, but yeah, uh, hip firing shoots as well as spaghetti double helix, aiming down the sights modifies the pattern and fires spinning donuts. Trying to get a critical with this is annoying but doable. Also very important note about the visual effects, the game can't deal with too many particles at the same time, so that's why bullets seem to disappear after a second if you hold down the trigger. Even if they're invisible, they will still hit enemies though. The large number of particles will also occasionally glitch some stuff out, which you can't really do anything about. Um, so just bear that in mind if you're using especially the uh, the hip fire function and you've just got your hands solidly down on the trigger after you know a couple of feet in front of you they will disappear visually but they will still be there so if you uh, stand especially against like I say a boss someone like um, I don't know Dukino's mum and you're out of the opposite side of the arena and you've got your finger held right down um, it looks like it'll disappear very early on but it won't it'll eventually hit her um, so just keep persisting with that. Uh, he highly recommends using the same Veruk he tested this thing on just to make sure that it's absolutely correct. So he provides his Gibco from the inventory of the one that he used for this. And have fun he says. Uh, and then at the bottom, don't look past this point, he couldn't be bothered to clean up the garbage. So uh, obviously I ain't got a clue what all of it means but anyone that uh, does know about mods could probably see what he's on about right there but uh, yeah anyway that is all the information you need to know about this thing and as you can see on screen not been doing too bad really you know Frostburn Canyon at Oak Power Rate can be a pretty daunting place uh, a bit later on when you get to the point where anything that comes out are just nomads heavy nomads goliaths things like that uh, and this thing really is holding its own obviously you will need um, to get a good efficient kill for this you will need slag um, bring some magic missiles or some grog nozzles or things like that but uh, yeah long range short range this thing is pretty good actually and uh, just to have different um, firing patterns and stuff like that to look at obviously it just makes the gun feel completely new and, and something like you haven't seen before so uh, yeah guys donuts or spaghetti what do you prefer let me know down in the comments below what you think of yet another creation by Dave and uh, although he is still saying that he is retired it's still good to see Dave having these ideas uh, and coming back and just making these weapons to prove points and push the boundaries of modding once again which I believe he's done with this uh, so yeah thank you guys for watching really hope you've enjoyed another video that was the DNA writer made by Dave on the Borders 2 community GitHub thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one